we've got three ways to make straw rockets. It's both a science experiment and a craft. You can use the free straw rocket template to make all three rockets, then see how far they'll fly. The supply list will be at the end of the post. I've made a free pattern for you with three different kinds of rockets. A very simple rocket, a rocket that actually has the shape of a rocket, and then a third rocket with fins that we'll put on. We're going to start by coloring our rockets. I'm going to make one of each type, so I'm going to color all three rockets as well as the fins. I wanted to tell you that this is going to wrap around a pencil, and this is, and it will be long this direction, if that makes a difference of what kind of design you want to make on it. Coloring the second rocket. There's someone going up in that rocket. You can color these with markers or crayons or colored pencils, whatever you have that you want to use. Coloring the third rocket now. Not very original in my designs. <laughs> I'm going to flip this over and do the other side of the fins. I can kind of see them through the paper. Now we're going to cut these out. I think I'll just cut them out one at a time as I make the rocket. So we're going to start with rocket number one, which is this one. And all we need is this rectangle piece. Cut it out on the solid black line. I forgot to put a pencil in my supplies. You can use one of your colored pencils if you don't have a regular one. So we're going to take the rectangle and we're going to roll it around the pencil and then tape it in place. But don't tape it to the pencil. Oh, I like that design. So I'm putting tape along this edge to hold it into this tube shape, but I'm not taping it to the pencil. So I'm going to push it off the end, and I'm going to tape this end shut. In fact, I'm going to just bend the end over just a little bit, make sure it's closed off. Put a little piece of tape on there. Okay, now I'll slide it off the pencil. And there's my rocket. Rocket number one, very simple. And it's going to go onto a straw, and then you blow. So it's going to blow off the end. And that's why one end has to be closed, so that the pressure of the air when you blow will shoot the rocket forward. So this is rocket, rocket number one. And you can see how far you can make this shoot off the end of the straw. I got this idea because I was in a restaurant and saw someone blow the wrapper off their straw and it just made me think about little rockets. Now we'll make rocket number two. We're going to cut out this little rocket shape. So we're going to cut a larger straw into about a four and a quarter inch or four and a half inch length. So that's just about in half, a little more than half. About right there. I'm dropping everything. And we're going to tape, we're going to tape this rocket onto the straw. So this straw is going to be our tube this time. But first we're going to need to close off the end of the tube just like we did on rocket number one. So we're going to tape over this end. Let's put a couple pieces on there. And clip off the little extra piece there. Now we're going to tape this to the back of our little rocket. All right, got a piece of tape here. Let's see if we can get this taped on the back. Kind of pushing it around the straw and tucking it under there. There, that feels pretty good. Now, that straw is going to go onto one of the smaller straws. See, it will fit right on there. And I think I'm going to cut this down just a little bit and this will slide right up onto the straw and then we'll be able to shoot it by blowing. It works well. I wonder which of these two straws will go the furthest. So now I have straw rocket number one and straw rocket number two. Now we're going to make a third type of straw rocket. So I'm going to be cutting out these last three parts. So with these three pieces I'm going to make this into a a little rocket just like I did the last time, but I'm not going to finish the end in the same way. Wrap it around the pencil and tape it. 
All right, so we have our tube made, but this time instead of folding over the end, we are going to push this over the, the pointed end of our pencil and twist it so that it is more pointed like a cone of a rocket. So once I have it kind of in a cone shape, I am going to put a little piece of tape on it to keep it in, in shape. And it's not a sharp cone, but it's still kind of more pointed because of that um, pencil tip. So before I slip it off the pencil, I'm going to add the fins to it. And the fins have two little dotted lines in the center, and you're going to fold those on the dotted lines. So if you remember, I've colored them on both sides, so they look about the same on each side. But you've got the little dotted lines where you fold. Okay, so we're going to tape the fins with this little flat piece against the bottom part of the rocket, one on one side, one on the other, which will make four fins going in a circle around the bottom of the rocket. So I'm just going to use one piece of tape on this side, one on this side, and then I'm going to take the other one and put it on the opposite side and do the same thing with the tape. Okay, so now you can see I've got fins that go all the way around the edge the bottom edge of the rocket. Not perfect, but they're pretty good. Now I can slip it off the pencil. Then of course it's going to go onto a straw and then we can blow it. That one really shoots well. So we have all three of our rockets now. Three different kinds. This one's very simple. This one has a rocket shape. It's fun. This one is a little more sophisticated, a little more complicated with the fins. And what I want you to do then is to have some fun trying all three of them and then what could you do to make them go further? When you could try different paper, you could try different fins. So I'm very curious. Please write and tell me in the comments what you've tried and how you improved it to even go further. I hope you have so much fun with these three cool ways to make straw rockets. For more great paper craft ideas, come on over to WelcomeToNanas.com and join the fun. I've made a free pattern for you with the three rocket types. Rocket 1, 2, and 3. You're also going to need... Oh, I copied this on regular copy paper, but for an experiment, you could also try cardstock. You'll use some pencils to color your rockets any way you'd like. We'll be using straws and we'll use two different sizes: the regular drinking straw size and then a larger one that's about three eighths inch in diameter. The smaller ones are about a fourth of an inch or so. You'll need tape to tape your rocket together, scissors to cut the rocket out of the paper, you may need a ruler, and I think that's everything.